investigation is underway after three Americans were found dead at a ritzy resort in the Bahamas. And a fourth person survived that incident and was flown here to South Florida for treatment. Local 10's Joseph Ojo is live at Kendall Regional Hospital with what we're learning about the victims. Joseph. And tonight, officials continue to investigate after those three Americans were found dead in the Bahamas. They say they don't suspect any foul play in any of these deaths as that fourth victim, a lone survivor, is now recovering at a South Florida hospital. Three Americans found dead at a Sandals resort on the Bahamas' Great Exuma Island. Two men and a woman dying of unknown causes. A fourth victim who fell ill, the lone survivor of this tragedy, captured on video in this plane, bringing her to New Providence so she could be taken to Princess Margaret Hospital. Sandals Resort released a statement that read in part, it is with deep sadness that we can confirm the passing of three guests at Sandals Emerald Bay on May 6, 2022. A health emergency was initially reported and following our protocols, we immediately alerted emergency medical professionals and relevant local authorities. ABC News reporting that one of the victims who died was Vincent Chiarella, a man in his mid 60s. His son tells ABC News his mom, Donis Chiarella, is the survivor. The couple from Birmingham, Alabama, were in the Bahamas for their anniversary. Their son Austin says he received a call from the U.S. Embassy around 8.30 p.m. Friday night with news about his parents. He spoke with his mom, who said she woke up and her husband was laying on the floor. She couldn't move. Her legs and arms were swollen, and she had to scream to get someone to come in the door. We also learned from the son that his mother told him she got sick Thursday, went to a clinic, and was released believing she was all right. The other two victims that died have not yet been identified. And we are working to get the latest condition of that sole survivor that is recovering at a South Florida hospital. Once we do get any information on how those three Americans died, we will be sure to let you know. Here in Southwest Miami-Dade, I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.